hysteroscopy is a very valuable investigation in many case scenarios for care of women problems hysteros is a greek term for uterus uterus is the organ that harbors the pregnancy in women and scopy is a method or a tool that is used to check the cavity or internal structures So hysteroscopy is a procedure wherein we use a tiny telescope kind of a device which is passed into the uterine cavity to check if there are any irregularities or any problems structural problems or polyps or adhesions or even situations like anomalies of the uterus that is if a lady is born with an abnormality in the uterus which is not formed in the way it should form these are all the conditions that can be diagnosed with a hysteroscopy There are certain indications in disorders or diseases of women wherein hysteroscopy is a very important tool for diagnosis. Some of which that I can elaborate here are recurrent miscarriages. When a lady suffers miscarriages again and again, there are few reasons from the uterus that can lead to this problem, such as anomalies in the uterus called as septate uterus. So sometimes there is a wall within the uterine cavity which divides the uterine cavity into two. That is called as septum. So checking for septum internally inside the uterus is by hysteroscopy and a correction also. So can be done by a hysteroscopy. The second condition wherein you know recurrent miscarriages can be complicated with are Asherman syndrome or adhesions within the uterine cavity. Now this also can be checked and found out on a hysteroscopy, and also corrective surgery can be done at the same time. Hysteroscopy also helps us know abnormalities in women who have failed multiple IVFs or have had infertility with a scan not showing a proper uterine cavity. In such situations, a hysteroscopy will help us know what is exactly going on inside the uterus and. have more idea about the uterine function the other two important indications are abnormal uterine bleeding if a lady has abnormal bleeding menstrual bleeding especially either prolonged bleeding or heavy bleeding hysteroscopy becomes a very important tool to identify what exactly is the reason and also at the same time take a small biopsy from the endometrium to know histopathologically if there is any problem like endometrial hyperplasia or very rarely cancerous changes within the uterine cavity So when hysteroscopy is done for a diagnostic purpose the possibilities that we can find is one of course there are chances that we may find nothing everything might be absolutely normal there are times when we find micro polyps polyps are structures which form within the endometrium due to a fold within the endometrium micro polyps indicate intrauterine infection whereas macro polyps are single or maybe multiple endometrial polyps are structures which develop over a period of time due to hyperestrogenemia especially in women who are hypertensive obese and in the perimenopausal age group endometrial polyps are very common occurrences and these can be easily removed in a operative hysteroscopy the third common abnormality is when a fibroid which is especially very close to the endometrial cavity may produce a bulge into the cavity it may also be completely entirely be a submucus that is within the endometrial cavity these are called as submucus fibroids and they are best removed by a operative hysteroscopy the other finding that we may come across is a septum now septum is an important reason not only for infertility but also recurrent pregnancy losses septum is a structure which is congenital which is present at birth and manifests only during later reproductive life septum is a structure that actually is a remnant of the uterine development so how a uterus develops when the girl is in her mother's womb is it develops as two blobs which unites and the partition completely disappears to form a single triangular cavity and if this partition fails to completely resolve is what forms a septum and if there is a septum septum is an avascular structure or rather minimally vascular hence it may not help in proper implantation of a embryo or a baby this can result in recurrent miscarriages so it is known beyond doubt that the lady has a septum it's important to resect or remove the septum before she aims for a pregnancy to smooth out them not only to get pregnant but also for carrying the pregnancy till term the other abnormalities that we may find is something called as endometritis that is inflammation of the endometrium which can usually happen due to infections either subclinical or clinical there are times when the lady may not feel the infection at all and it can still be there within the uterus they are called as subclinical infections these can be identified on a hysteroscopy when we can we may see hyperemic areas that is red spots within the endometrial cavity and a simple testing of the endometrium may help us identify what is the organism or the pathogen there so identifying endometritis is also one of the important elements um, that we can find in hysteroscopy the other finding can be intrauterine adhesions rarely we come across that you know a past infection or history of past miscarriages or a procedure called as DNA 
pregnancy which is commonly done to clear off a pregnancy can lead to intrauterine adhesions wherein the uterus gets stuck between its two walls and such kind of scarring can lead to not only infertility but also poor outcome with pregnancy it's called as asherman syndrome or intrauterine adhesions and these can be removed by a operative hysteroscopy